Churches. Fairly short ish. right at the end of BlizzCon and I still haven't played it yet because the queues were always too big every single time and I couldn't sneak in so this time I can do it. Hey there, so that's my reward for winning a nice Warcraft 3 Reforged poster. It wasn't really fair but the guy gave you know a pretty good fight, he had a footman in my base uh, killing my peasants I didn't even know about it because I didn't get the sound warning, I had to turn the sound down because the last guy must have been trolling, you put on speakers basically, a headset and it was a maximum volume and I was trying to work out how to turn it down so that took half the first couple of minutes at least and then uh, yeah I gave him some sort of space to work out what it is he's doing because obviously it's a bit newer to the game but it was a bit you know one-sided but um, yeah the game plays better than it currently does at least the last beta I played so this is a newer version it felt better it felt crisper there's still work to be done no doubt about it but very pleased with actually how it felt like I was having a good time, sort of like moving the units back and forth, the old micro, creeping, it's all good. So yeah, it's looking positive really for Warcraft 3. Just gotta give it time, don't rush, just take your time and you'll get there. Like the polish will come. So it's good, it's good. Time for the elevator. <sighs> oh, <laughs> sorry. It's the elevator at the Marriott. Every single time you go up or down, it makes your stomach go like as if you were taken off in an airplane or landing. Every single time. Right, that's it. That's the end of BlizzCon. It's been uh, quite a cool epic journey. Yeah, Warcraft 3 Reforged hype. Finished off with some Diablo 4 as well. Thought I'd give the Sorceress a go. Very good, feels solid. The gameplay is great. Just wish there was like more abilities and more in-depthness to it. I'm not sure there's enough talents there, but it plays well. It plays good. So overall, BlizzCon's been pretty damn fantastic. I very much enjoyed the panels. I enjoyed just moving around and trying to see everything. I thought I caught most things. I didn't actually play that many games because the queues were just too sort of tedious to go for it. I was actually going to try to get into Diablo Immortal because I finished with Diablo 4 and I saw Diablo Immortal and I thought, should I? But... Maybe it's a blessing and a curse, a blessing or a curse, because there was a guy holding up a sign saying that the line is capped, so like, BlizzCon's over, like, you can't get in anymore, so maybe he did me a favour, I don't know. But that's it. Thank you guys very much. Really epic BlizzCon. I very much enjoyed the panels. Like, a lot of that, I just enjoy, I'm going to check it out in a virtual ticket, but I just enjoy sort of sitting there and just listening to, like, the developers just chat about what it is they're passionate about, because, you know, you, you get a vibe off them and... You can sort of relate in some aspects, sort of like it's that passion for gaming that comes through and then they can create some awesome stuff from it, so it's fantastic, really. And the Warcraft Free Reforged panel was a lot of fun as well. So, good times. All right then, thank you very much to Blizzard as well and uh, for inviting me out. 
and uh, paying for the hotel and the flight out. So it's very, uh, very kind of them to do that and I'm very grateful, so thank you very much indeed. The thing I'm dreading now is the flight back because the the trip itself is worth it, without a doubt. It's just the flight sucks and you know the trip is good, like the BlizzCon is good. If the flight sucks so much, but it's still worth it. Trust me, it's like 11 plus hours in a, just in a tin can, basically, like cramped. It can't be as bad as the first time going off. I think I'm going to get more sleep this time. I, I didn't have any sleep when I flew the first time. I didn't have any sleep at all. No, none. I had an hour and a half rest because I was up till 2 a.m. packing. Anyway. Take care. Now, I'm about to leave the hotel room. It is the 3rd of November, and uh, I'm not gonna arrive into the UK until 9.20 in the morning on the 4th of November. So I've got my broken suitcase and rucksack. I'm gonna go down to the lobby, sign out, and uh, wait for the shuttle to pick me up. Outside, I'm waiting now. Should be half an hour early, technically, but um, the clocks went uh, back an hour, so... There's always that worry that I'm actually technically half an hour late, but it should be okay. Dropped off. Now I'm about to go inside and check in. Suitcase now. The bag drop. Alrighty, just handed in the suitcase. So I've got to go to gate 26A and get on the plane for 1420. So this way, up the escalator. I had to get scanned this time. So I went in the machine and put the arms up and it comes around. All good though. Just about. Okay, so I didn't mention it. That was the security bit. So take off your shoes, all the electronics, put it into the trays, try to get the trays going across and have fun whilst everyone else is trying to rush past you and get in the way and they get in the way. It's time to kill some time at the mall, yes. So I'm going to go over and have a look, probably sit down for a while, then make my way over to the gate about 2 o'clock, it's 12.30 at the moment, and then get on the plane about 20 past 2, hopefully. I'm already here. It's just in selfie mode, so that's backwards, but that's 26. There's not much to this place actually, so... Could be waiting a while. All right, time to board. Those red ones are economy. It's gonna get tight. There we go. Whoosh. a couple of times, can you believe it? That was more out paranoia than anything else. Had um, a flannel and uh, soap as well, just in case. That's how prepared I am compared to the last time, because the first time was one of my worst five experiences, I would honestly say, is like going in an airplane for all those hours and not being able to do much about it and just, uh, no, it's horrible, horrible. But anyway, watched a couple of movies, I Am Mother, sci-fi dystopia, really good and a Pikachu movie as well, which is also a lot of fun. Ryan Reynolds just doing a fantastic job. Even the kid was really good. So yeah, very good movies. Um, only took a few hours before the people in front decided to recline the seat. So this time I had to be the asshole as well and recline my seat because I wasn't going to put up with this. Basically that's it. The seat is like that close to the screen. So no chance, mate, no chance. So yeah, a lot of resting, more nighttime. So it was much darker in there, easier to stay sort of rested. Still can't sleep, but much better, much better. Even though it was much better. Flying for 11 hours still sucks. Baggage reclaimed this time. Let's see if the other wheel's been snapped off. 
Well, at least I know what I've got to do. <laughs> Can't get that wrong. Yeah, that's right. Everyone keeps going for these elevators. These travel elevators. I can go quicker. There's tons of these bloody things. Where the hell's my bag? Which one of these is my bag on? You could hide from me, did you? There you are. About to be picked up, so this is more or less end of the line. Well, there it is. Witty, back home, on British soil. Feels good, feels real good. I love it so much. No more 12 hour flights, at least for the time being, so there's that. I wanna say a huge thank you to Blizzard for inviting me out, paying for the flight, the hotel, and of course the BlizzCon tickets. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the opportunity to check it out and just have a great time. Thank you very much as well to the Classic team. Big shout out to you guys, uh, Warcraft 3 Reforged Classic team. Keep up the good work. I played the demo, I mentioned it earlier in the vlog, or one of these parts of the vlogs, and it holds up. It's really coming along. Like, it played really crisply when I played it. I was very actually satisfied with it. It felt more um, sort of grounded and, you know, accurate to how it should be, which is... One of the things I took on board that you were mentioning during the uh, panel itself is, you know, the the polish part of the gameplay feel, the mechanical feel of Warcraft. It's hard to describe what that is, but the, you know, the original game, how it, you know, it just feels right. It is the last part of the process, really, because you've got to put, set up all the other pieces into place, so... You know, when you explain it like that, it does help a lot for, you know, noobs like myself, in a sense, to really sort of get to grips. Because back in 2018, I was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to feel right. But as time has gone on, it is just getting crisper and more solid. So it's really coming along. So I'm really, really happy with it. Just, you know, take your time. Don't worry about it. Just do do what you need to do. Like, no one's... Uh, you, you're rushed by probably the higher-ups or something like that, but, I mean, the, the rest of us fans just want you to, you know, have a good time and just enjoy yourselves doing a good job. So, thank you guys very much. Um, thank you as well to Grubby. It was great to meet him. He's just charismatic, uh, endearing and earnest. Just cool guy to chat to. And, of course, it was awesome to meet the uh, Back to Warcraft guys. Neo, very hard-working, focused and energetic. And Remo, approachable, inviting, and just very warm in general. So, not in that way. <laughs> that sounds weird when I say it like that. But it's just, you know, they're just actually really kind of cool to meet them. My arch rivals, my uh, YouTube or Twitch nemesis. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're really nice people, you know, when you get to see them up close. So... Is, uh, that was the other weird thing, really, just in general about BlizzCon. I don't know if I actually mentioned it, but of course you might have caught in the vlog there was Preach Gaming. I kind of deliberately kind of did a selfie to one side, showing him sort of in the background. I didn't say anything because I didn't. I want to see whether you guys picked up on that. But there was Firebat as well. Loco, I met Loco in the breakfast. He was still jet lagged, so he seemed like he was too exhausted to talk to me, really. But um, uh, oh well. From the Convert to Raid guys, uh, I saw Pat Crane and Fizz, um They do a podcast, Convert to Raid. Pat Crane's been doing it for years now. I've used that to listen to before I was even doing the YouTube sort of stuff, like just working. And uh, it's really cool sort of fun podcast to listen to. And you just sort of see these people in the flesh. Oh, and on the first day, I think I mentioned it, but saw Kraparian as well. Because I was messing up with my media pass, right? You have to log in to the QR code. So I used my mobile phone, but then I didn't have a Wi-Fi connection set up. So then I said, all right, you guys go ahead. I'll just wait and mess around with my phone, get the Wi-Fi. Okay, right, I'm good. I go to the front, go to get my media pass. Oh, no, now I've got to log into my BlizzCon account or something like that. Or the, the access thing. So then I have to remember my password on that. I go, oh, what's my password? Again for that, so, all right, you guys go ahead, and that's that's when Kraparian went ahead, but I didn't realize it was Kraparian, and then I went sort of behind when I got that, so I'm all good to go get the media pass, and then Kraparian's in front, like tall guy, don't really notice, but as soon as he turns his face, it's like, oh, oh, right, yeah, that's Kraparian, that's Kraparian, all right, so you sort of see these people, and you've been watching them on YouTube for so long, and it's just so bizarre. Speaking of which, that might have been the case for Dylan, 
thank you very much, Dylan, for coming over and saying hi. You made my day. It was really a, a great pleasure to meet you and uh, just sort of like say hi, shake your hands and uh, just chat a little bit about Warcraft 3. So overall, really cool experience. Loved the BlizzCon. Hated the flights. The flight on the way back was much better, but it still sucks. 11 hour flights, they shouldn't be a thing. Like seven to eight hours tops. But any more than that is like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Anyway, thank you very much. If you enjoyed this whole series, make sure to thumbs up, subscribe, check me out, twitch.tv slash witty. Join over at patreon.com slash witty warcraft and uh, make sure to just stay tuned for more Warcraft free reforged content and uh, potentially some vlogs and stuff. You know, if you want to see it, I'll put it out there for you. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching the channel, supporting the channel, and uh, until the next time, take care.